Okay, what's good? What's cracking? It's your girl Tequeeze Jones, aka aka Ella, aka Ella. Motherfucking Ella. I just feel like I'm at this point, maybe I should just not give a motherfucking intro. But you know what? It's your girl Tequeeze Jones, aka Killer Queen T, aka Blackout T, aka Don't sit all the way over there. Sit over here. All you need to do is go over there and get the chair. Now I know y'all like Tequeeze. Now I came, went, gone, and where were you? I know y'all tired of these excuses at this point. Y'all like, at this point, I don't want to hear shit you got to say because it, it's food. But in actuality, I wasn't going to give y'all no video at 9 o'clock. I literally wasn't going to give y'all no video at 9 o'clock. I woke up early. I cleaned up. I went back to bed. I got some more Z's on. Then when I woke up again, I was like, okay, I'm ready to make a video. Only to remember, I hadn't put shit on charger yesterday. So everything was dead. And I was like, damn. Now I know you're like, please, it don't take that damn long to charge your no devices. It didn't. But if, I, if you had watched the video earlier today, then you know that if you don't do it when you're supposed to do it, that the universe has a way of making it seem like maybe this Maybe you just don't want to do it. I don't do want to get out a video. But then I didn't know what I wanted to read because I just read the the Sister of the Blackberry Corner yesterday. And then I just did a, a chapter of Falling yesterday. And then I still got to finish Huey, Huey Jones. That's the kids' book. So I'm like, oh. But then I got another teen book I want to do. But I got to finish these four books. want to know like is it anybody else building or is it just my building like y'all are calling us the, the on this floor on the second floor and she outside y'all here so it's like the walls ain't shit the floors ain't shit i get my like when my name was downstairs when he started beating on his chick i know he beating on her how because i hear it so please is you just saying everybody be beating on their on the names significant others I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But we gonna should I do her pajamas? Hold on. Um Ooh, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Chapter seven, the murderer. Herbie walks home alone. As he passed Miss Vaughn Whistlehouse, he noticed her beautiful garden. When he saw the three rows of corsairs, he shook his head. Raymond. Oh, yeah, they hit me. His friend is fighting. But I feel like this writer is leaving us with a lot of motherfucking questions. But we don't talk about that right now. We're going to talk about that at the end. What we'll started off as possibly the best day this year had his being promoted to the Chargers. Turned out to be a lousy one. Miss Pinkham jumped all over him for doing one little thing wrong. Raymond thought he was going to be a charger any day now. And the fact that Raymond's ideas were getting him into trouble, he looked forward to going home. When he got inside, he heard his sister Olivia running the vacuum cleaner. She was also complaining. I can't believe how dirty this house is. Harvey wasn't used to seeing his sister cleaning up. What's going on? Some Someone must be coming over. Lance Panelsi, who the most popular boy at Loran Woods Junior High. Why would a guy like that want to see you? Get lost, Herb. We're going to study for a test in world history tomorrow. Sure. Herbie walked into the bathroom. He had to go. He also wants to tell Gus and Spike about his rotten day. When he got there, he turned white. Olivia, what did you do? Olivia ran into the bathroom. She had never, she had never heard her brother shriek like that before. Jeez, Herb, I just cleaned up in here. It was awful, including those two spider webs up in the corner of the ceiling. Herbie screamed, "You murderer! You murdered Gus and Spike! 
How could you? He started pelting his arms with his fists. Her arms with his fists. That hurts you, brat. Olivia slapped him back. Herbie hit her again. Then he noticed the shampoo body was missing his cap. He grabbed it and dumped it on her hair. He knew that was what Olivia thought was the most important. Her hair. He dosed it all over with green stuff. Stop it! Stop it! She started to cry as the shampoo, shampoo dripped into her eyes and nose. I'll never forgive you, Olivia. Never, ever. Damn, that's a spider. That's your sister. Then Harvey ran out of the house and down to dripping donuts. Where's the parents? We just running out of it? We just running out of houses like this? Okay. Oh, so his, he went to his mother's job. Okay. I, I was trying like, what's up? So I like they had money problems. His mother was pouring someone a refill of coffee. When he started to the what restaurant, she killed him! He yelled. Everyone in the restaurant stopped eating and drinking. Instead of the strange boy who was screaming about murder. Right? It's like, we gotta have uh we gotta we have we gotta have a conversation about how to act at my damn job, I see. That's how I've been standing up. One of the customers who was sitting at, customers who was sitting at the ca counter was a police officer, and he stood up immediately to listen to Herbie's story. Miss Jones went around to the back gate so she could get out on the other side of the counter to Herbie. He ran to her arms, sobbing. Mom! She held him tight and waited for him to calm down so she could understand him. The policeman took out a notepad and pencil and waited. Everybody finna be pissed when they find out it's the fucking spiders. Motherfuckers in here thinking it's a body somewhere. Like, ooh, I bet motherfuckers just leaning over and they see thirsty like a motherfucker. <sighs> Ready to get your dreams, Pops? <laughs> All the customers leaned over and stared at her being his mother. The manager who was busy in the back cutting out donuts heard the commotion and came running to the front of the restaurant too. Tell us your story, young man. The policeman said. Herbie took a deep breath and explained. My sister Olivia, she killed them with a broom and soap and Clorox. He had to catch his breath. He was whimpering so. The customers oohed and eye as he talked about the murder. The policeman wrote down the, broom, the words broom, soap, and Clorox on his pad. She did it because of her friend. The policeman wrote down motor. Did it for a friend. Do you know his name? Herbie whimpered. <laughs> Yeah, yes, Lance Pavelsi. The manager who was listening all this time put put his hand on his forehead. Lance Pavelsi, Lance Pavelsi is my son. The policeman looked shocked. A few of the, of the customers took a sip of their coffee and a bite of their donuts, but they continued catching every word of the conversation. I don't believe it, my son. Miss Young suddenly understood what this was all about. Olivia murdered Gus and Spike, she asked. Herbie nodded. Then he started bawling again. <laughs> the policeman wrote down the seats, Gus and Spike. Miss Jones spoke loudly because she wanted everyone in the restaurant to hear. Gus and Spike are my sons, pet spiders. Miss Pavesi put his hand over his heart. The customers chuckled to themselves and then went on eating or drinking or smoking or talking or whatever else they were doing before. The policeman shook his head and ripped out the page. Easiest murder I solved. Then he put the notepad, the notepad back in his hip pocket and finished his cup of creamy coffee. And his chocolate honey dip donut. Mrs. Jones continued holding Herbie. She knew how important the spiders were to him. I'm so sorry, Herbie. I should have told Olivia about it. I just didn't expect her to be cleaning up at the house. Miss Pavelsi put his arms around Herbie's shoulders. You know, when I was about your age, I had a pet worm farm. You had to keep the soil most every day. Well, when I went, I went on a two-week camping trip and forgot about them. That dried up like shoestring potatoes. Herbie didn't think that made him feel any better. Miss Jones pointed to a nearby stool. 
Why don't you sit down at the counter, Herbie, and I'll get you an entree? Sure, Mr. Pavelski said. And in five minutes, there will be some fresh lemon-filled donuts. Like them? Herbie sat down at the counter and shrugged his shoulders. This was the worst day of his life. When Herbie and his mother went home at five, five o'clock, Olivia was still rinsing out the shampoo. Mother! Do you know what Harvey did? All right, dear. We'll talk about it. When Olivia found out that Miss Pavelsi, Mr. Pavelsi was the manager of Different Donuts, she suddenly changed her mood. You work for him? Lance Pavelsi's father? Miss Jones nodded. Oh, mother, I'm thrilled about your job. Harvey wasn't thrilled about anything. He just went to bed early. Yeah, I understand, Herbie. I understand, Herbie. Because if you think about it, they we didn't we we've been left we we done, come on now I don't at these last couple of chapters I don't think we gonna be hitting oh oh okay no okay I'll do it right now okay universe I was gonna not do it but okay over the weekend it's I thought it was ten chapters we gonna talk about this book sooner than I thought. Okay, chapter eight, Noontime Showdown. Over the weekend, Herbie pretty much just read. He didn't call Raymond or go over to his house. Monday morning, he headed for school. Raymond was waiting for him on the corner. Neither of them said anything to one another until they saw the school building. You were right, Herbie. I was being a hot shot. Herbie looked at Raymond. Nah, I was just bugged by Miss Pinkham. You know, when she bawled me out about my poster. There's no way I could ever get out of the apples. I'm stuck for the rest of the year. Raymond rubbed the toe of his shoe in the dirt. We got screwed up. Wait a minute. Herbie had a sudden, sudden inspiration. I know how you can get out of the apples. How? Just change the name to something else. Raymond thought about it. And then jumped into the air. Yahoo! After he came down back down to earth, he asked, How again? Get Maggie to go along with you. And her two friends will too. Yeah, do you have a name you like to have for your reading group? Raymond thought and thought. I don't want to be a piece of fruit again. Or something dumb like a peppermint patty. The girls had also liked that name because the apples, besides the apples in September. I like a name of something exciting. Different and for hard workers. Harvey listening by Raymond thought aloud. Maybe beavers. Nah. Do you have any suggestions, Harvey? I just I just know what I don't want. Harvey thought for a moment, and then he said with a lump in his throat, Spiders? Yes! Perfect! I would love to be spiders. Gee, thanks, Harvey. At noontime, Ray asked Maggie Margie to join us. Then be thinking of some good reasons for the name Spiders. Margie is not going to be easy to win over. But you're tough, right? Right! We're both tough. When the boys got into the classroom... Raymond asked Harvey if he could borrow his copy of Charlotte's Web. Sure, it's in my desk. Harvey never saw Raymond interested in reading the book before. Isn't this like the movie on TV? Ray asked, holding up the book. Yeah, Herbie nodded. Where else is about spiders then? I might get some ideas from it. Will you help me with some of the words, Herbie? Sure. <laughs> Herbie went up to Miss Pinkham and asked her if after he and Raymond finished their morning work, they could read Charlotte's Web in the quiet corner of the room. Of course you can. In fact, I don't have much planned for this morning. After the pledge, you and Raymond can start right away on the book. Really? Yes, Herbie. Miss Pigham smiled warmly. It was rewarding for her to see some interest in reading. Raymond got the book and joined Herbie at the back table. Herbie helped him with the words he didn't know. After the first page, Raymond looked at Herbie. Why don't you read it to me and I'll follow along? When we come to something good about spiders, I'll try to learn that part. Raymond listened attentively as Herbie read to him about Fern and Wilbur and Mr. Suckerman. He appreciated the way Harvey read, with lots of expression. On page 31, Charlotte, Charlotte appeared. Raymond waited for the best sentences. They came on pages 37 
and 40. How we play Ray helped Ray with a few words, and after a few practices, Ray got it. Page 37. Well, I'm pretty, rep replied Charlotte. There's no denying it. That. Almost all spiders are rather nice looking. Page 40. Nobody feeds me. I have to get my own living. I live by my wits. I have to be sharp and clever. At least I go hungry. I have to think things out. Catch what I can. Take what comes. Harvey closed the book. They had been reading for nearly an hour. Harvey had to teach Raymond the words. Almost rather wits, sharp and clever. Miss Pinkham helped the boys with denying. Neither of them knew that one. Raymond marked the two pages, 37 and 40, with two pieces of paper. He was ready to read the scissors to Margie at noontime. He couldn't wait. Harvey hurt way Ray wouldn't be disappointed. At 10.30, a message came into the, flat, into the room. Miss Pinkham said, oh, no, out loud. Everyone stopped what they were doing. Miss Pinkham made an announcement. Boys and girls, I have some bad news. Annabelle, Louisiana, Louise, Hot Kiss has the chicken pox. Everyone groaned. Harvey looked over at Annabelle's empty seat. Sit down! Everyone groaned. Harvey looked over at Annabelle's empty seat. He had been so busy in the back of the room, he didn't even notice. I think it would be nice if each of you made her a car before lunch. Maybe Margie would be nice enough to take them to her after school. Margie nodded. Harvey liked to write prom, so he decided to write one for Annabelle. First, he drew her in bed with spots all over her face. That was fun, he thought, and a thermometer in her mouth. He forgot that she had reddish hair and colored the person's hair black. Oh, well, she wouldn't notice, he figured. He couldn't figure, he couldn't remember what color eyes she had, so he made them black, too. Harvey did remember her semi's cat, so he drew him in next to her feet on the bed. Halfway through the prom, Harvey was stuck. He couldn't think of something to rhyme with nose. Holes, soles, flows, bowls, toes, yes. And Harvey finished his poem. When Miss Pinkham asked if anyone would like her to read his card, Harvey raised his hand. She looked at the four misspellings and smiles. It's from the heart, heart, Harvey. That's what counts. I'll read it to you, class. Annabelle, Annabelle, sick in bed. Spots on her nose and spots on her head. Then I will give her a bright red rose. Then her nose, I will tickle her... Then her nose, I will tickle her toes with it, your friend Harvey. All the kids laughed when she finished reading the poem. Would you read it again, Miss Pinkham? Margie asked. That was fun. And she reread Harvey's poem. Harvey is quite a poet. At noon time, Harvey, Nas Raymond. Here she comes, and she's alone. That's right. Ask her. Come and j j join us, Margie. Raymond half stuttered. Mag Margie Bean, that she sat her tray down. Thanks. I didn't know who I was going to sit next to today. Isn't it awful that Annabelle got the chicken pox? Yeah, Harvey and Raymond, Harvey and Raymond asked her together, which was not too sorrow. Mar Raymond thought he would ease into the conversation. Ever had chicken pox, Margie? Yes, last spring. Did you guys? Both of them shook their head. Margie put Margie put a fork full of baked luncheon meat into her mouth. My mom said it's better to get that when you're young. Want my glazed pineapple ring? I hate it. Nah, Herbie said. Thanks, Raymond replied, popping it whole into his mouth. By the way, Margie, I was thinking, why don't we change our reading group name? Margie put her fork down. Well, would Miss Pinkham let us? Sure, Herbie interjected. She told me we could change our names anytime. Anyone, everyone agreed. It was a white lie, but Harvey thought it was necessary. Well, the apple season is over, she laughed. Raymond, ha-ha, too, just to butter her up. What do you think would be a good name, Ray? He was his opportunity, and a golden one. Ray wanted spiders to sound good so he could pair with them with something really ghost. I think spiders or blood suckers would be t terrific. Ha! Margaret sounded. Are you kidding? No, they're good names. Well, I'm definitely not going to be a blood sucker, Mar Margie said as she hit the table with her fist. One of the pea sides bounced out of her tray. The straw and Raymond's milk jumped up about an inch and then settled back. Well, how about spiders then? Ray said with a calculating smile. Ew! Maggie flared her hand. Of course, we're not talking about ordinary spiders. We're not? 
No, Raymond said. I'm talking about spiders who are related to someone famous. You are? Like who? Marge said with his Margie was very interested. Charlotte. Charlotte? You want that piece of ice? Ray pointed. No, it's dirty. It's been on the table. I'll take it. Ray leaped across with his fork, stabbed the piece, and popped it in his mouth. Herbie made a face. You know, Charlotte's rap. Ray continued as he chewed the piece of ice. Oh, you mean that, Charlotte? She was really nice. Mom read me that story, and I saw the movie. Herbie handed Raymond the book. Here we go. Teamwork. Ray opened it to the marked page. I happen to have a sentence here that Charlotte said about spiders. Really? Margie got up and sat on the same side of the table as Raymond. Raymond read the two selections, leaving the sentences out that had denying in it. Well, I am pretty, replied Charlotte. Almost all spiders are rather nice looking. No one feeds me. I have get I have to get my own living. I have, I live by my own wits. I go I have to be sharp and clever. At least I go hungry. I have to think things out. Catch what I can. Take what comes. Hmm. Margie sipped some more milk. What do you think, Ray leaned up on the table, cuffing his face in his hands? Hmm, spies are really sharp and clever. Yep, Raymond replied. They think things out. Yep, Herbie chimed in. They're pretty. Very, Raymond assured her. Well, looks on everything. What do spiders do? Ray looked desperate. He turned to Herbie. Important things, right? Right, Herbie? He's like, I need some backup. Harry picked up the book and turned to page 40. He remembers something about that. Here, listen to this, Margie. And furthermore, said Charlotte, shaking on her legs, do you realize that if I didn't catch bugs and eat them, bugs would increase and multiply and get so numerous that they'll destroy the earth, wipe out everything? Raymond sat back in his chair and grinned. So spiders saved the world from destruction, Herbie summarized. Then he closed the book. Well... Margie wiped her mouth with a napkin, then watered the paper up in a ball. Raymond tried to keep himself from getting too excited. Yeah? Yeah? Herbie looked at Margie. Margie continued, well, I guess we can call ourselves spiders. Ray stood up, super, and he held out his hand. Margie shook it. I'll tell the other two girls that we'll change our name from apples to spiders. Raymond hopped on his chair. All right! And then he jumped off and slapped Herbie high five on the hands. Miss Pinkham said it was okay with her if the apples wanted to change their name. She went to the blackboard where the wizards and the chargers had assignments written in chalk. She erased the word apples and wrote in spiders. Raymond tripped, tipped his chair back inside. He had done it. The last two months of school were going to be his best. On the way home from school, Harry put his arm around Raymond. We did it. We're no longer apples. It's a great feeling, Raymond said. This calls for a celebration. Let's go to my house for some all-day dipping donuts. Yeah! When you crush into those buggers, you find out what tough is. Like us, Ray X? Like us, Herbie said. I don't know if a donut cannot is as hard and tough the next day. Does that mean the donuts was, like, not really good in the beginning? saying okay so i really really liked it, this book i'm actually gonna you know probably look into some more books by um Susie klein but i've really really enjoyed this book um there was a couple of things that me and myself personally that i wanted to know like who was i'll make my time blue like who was the um who was the person that was vandalizing the bathroom, scaring the kids, had the girls scared to go to the bathroom. We just, we just went, we started on that. And then the next chapter, we did not discuss it. The teacher said it wasn't real. She said it was somebody playing jokes and we didn't even get, I'm just saying just a paragraph of, okay, this is what happened. Woo, 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 woo. I'm glad him and Raymond was able to become friends and the solution for him to feel like he was in another group was to change the names and then he was able to, you know, they was able to come together about the name change and convince the other people, to, the, the other girls to change their name. Even though I felt like, I would have felt, I don't know, felt a little bit better if they had talked to all the girls at the same time. Since even though it was just, they only needed to change one of the girls' masks and the other two were following along, I just felt like maybe, maybe that was, that was, what the fuck is it? What is it called? Y'all leave it down in the comments. Y'all already know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, I just felt like they was 
enforcing some neg negative shit popping up. You know what I'm saying? Like enforcing shorty believing that, ooh, she's a leader and they're followers. And enforcing in the number that they was followers and shorty was a leader. Even if they was following up behind her. But maybe this was why. You know what I'm saying? Drink a little water. Whew. So that's why I didn't post earlier today. But since I didn't post earlier today, I'm really, really. This book was really, really good. I'm really, really happy. I don't really... So that just means we are... Um, because remember the other... The last week I was... Because I know y'all like to quiz. You was just crying about having so many books. Duh, and then you finish two books in a, in a couple of days. In two days. Was that two days? Anyway, for when I was complaining anyway. And I know y'all like, Squeeze, if you finish all the books that you were complaining about, and you make, because you, you remember, um, then what would you do? Then what would you do, Squeeze? Well, I would just, I, the books will not start running out. And I, the books will not start running out. So I don't know, maybe you, maybe you have noticed, maybe you haven't noticed, that it's still looking like my, blah, 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 blah. my videos aren't getting views, but, the thing is, I haven't been buying ads. Um, starting next week, I will be going back to uh, J-O-B. So, I'm still going to be posting. That's not why I'm telling you, like, oh, I'm going back to work. I'm about to go back to work. So, don't be thinking, oh, she go back to her regular job. She finna forget all about us. That's not it. I'm just explaining to you and the algorithm. Well, the algorithm understands that I ain't been... I ain't been bad ass, so that means that people ain't been seeing my shit, and the algorithm know that it ain't notifying nobody that I'm posting. So that's why the algorithm ain't been tweaking and like just decided to take every fucking thing from me. So with that being said, you know my videos are still getting viewed, just not, just not most of the recent shit that I've been posting. But that's cool. I'm just going to let the, the universe do its thing because, you know, the universe told me that this is my, this is for me. I just got to be patient and, and, and wait for it to fully take effect. You know what I'm saying? 